If I told you that that was a washing machine, would you believe me? Well, it is, and it could probably fit in your pocket. So let's check it out. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a fun video today because we're actually testing out something that I didn't buy, nor was it sent to me from a company. This was sent to me by one of my super fan subscribers. <laughs> they saw it and they thought this would be something cool that I would like to try out. And I got to say, I've never seen one of these before. Didn't even know they existed. I later found them on Amazon, and I'll leave a link if you guys are interested in buying one yourself. But these are miniature washing machines. All you need is some kind of tub to do it. They're ultrasonic as well as spin. So this will spin as well as use ultrasonic waves to clean your clothing. Much like an ultrasonic cleaner will clean guns or jewelry or anything else. And they actually work pretty well from the videos I've seen. So what we're going to do today is I have myself a, uh, a tub here. One of those collapsible tubs. We're going to fill it with water. And you guys might have seen my video yesterday doing the generator. And that's the rag. Kind of dirty and dingy that I used during the video to clean up the oil and everything else. So we're going to try and get that clean using just this. Now how this works is pretty simple. You have some suction cups on the back. You're going to place this on whatever you want. You can use a five gallon bucket. You can use a big bowl. Whatever you want that will hold water as long as it will stick to the side because you want it to be this way with your clothing in here. You want it to be spinning that way. I have some seen people do it this way on the bottom. It's not as effective. You definitely want it sideways. This is your control here. This will allow you to go through the cycles. And they do say not to plug this into an outlet with an adapter. Use a power bank or use a um, one of those uh, power stations or whatever. But don't plug it into an adapter. And I did try it, of course, stupid me, before I read the instructions. I plugged it in back there with a power adapter, and all it did was tick. Obviously not working. So what I'm going to do is fill up this bucket here with some water, and we're going to put it inside, and then we'll walk you through it. And I'll put a little detergent in, and we'll see if it actually works. All right, so we've got the tub filled up with some warm water. I do have my little TechNet 4200 milliamp hour, 42,000 milliamp hour power bank. We're going to take the suction cups here. Now, it's important that you understand this part. You see this part here? This stuff here is all you want in the water. You don't want to get this or the unshrouded cord in the water. You've got more than enough to do it, so you'll be okay. We're going to stick this underwater here. And kind of suction it to the side. I get a feeling that's going to shoot water straight up in the air. I hope not, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's give it a try here. Huh. All right. Well, it's definitely working. That's cool. Let me move this out of the way. Let me turn it off. Go through the modes. There's your ultrasonic. Okay. There you go. Okay. So this has a 30 minute, um, a 30, I'm sorry, a 30 second cycle. And it will do it for about 30 minutes. Um, you have a 15 seconds of rotation, you have a reverse 15 seconds, you have the turbine that will work for 5 seconds, and the ultrasonic, which was the last one, will work for about 60 seconds. So, let me get some soap in here. We're going to take this and throw it in. I haven't cleaned it from yesterday, so we know it was pretty darn dirty. Okay, we're going to get some soap. I have a very small amount of soap. I really didn't want to go nuts with it because I didn't want to get it all over the place. Just going to rinse it out here. This is just regular laundry soap. It looks like Dawn, but it isn't. It's regular laundry. So, I don't want to make too many suds here. So, let's turn this thing on and see what happens. There we go. I'll bring you back when it does the, uh, the, next, uh, the next section here. It's been running here, back and forth a little bit. One of the things I don't like is it keeps bunching up into that, into that thing there. So I kind of keep it back, but if you put more, I'm sure if you put more laundry in here, it'd be fine. Remember, I'm just cleaning one thing, so definitely cool. Let's wait till it starts doing the ultrasonic stuff. All right, so this thing is going back and forth, back and forth, and I realize that it's not stopping it by bumping into it. So that's probably part of the operation. You probably do want it to hit up against that and clean it out. I noticed it's getting it cleaner than when I kept pulling it back. 
Definitely doing its job. I probably would want to put this if I was doing more laundry in a much higher bucket because I notice it splashes out every once in a while. But all in all, hey, that water is pretty dirty. It's definitely cleaner than when it was. Okay, here goes the ultrasonic. So let's let that work a little bit. And I'll bring you back when it's all done and we'll see just what happens with this after a little bit. All right, so we're back to spinning again. Now what I'm going to do, as you see, it spills a little water out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some clean water and we're going to do a rinse cycle with this and see just how well that worked. I can tell already, I mean, it's far from perfect, but I got most of that dark kind of crud off it, you can see. So let's do a rinse cycle real quick, and we'll see how much more dirt we can get out of it. All right, we got fresh water. I'm going to start it up. Here's the rag again, as you can tell, a whole lot cleaner. I mean, by no means white, but definitely cleaner. So let's let it run through there and do a little bit, uh, a little bit of rinsing and scrubbing out. This is just hot water in here now, and we'll see how well that works. As you can see, even on the rinse cycle, it's still getting a little bit of dirt out of there. One of the things I like about stuff like this is I think people underestimate the benefit of cleaning your things or yourself up in, in a disaster, emergency, or SHCF situation. Um, I do have a 12-volt, huge, tall, you know, washing machine that I can plug in. It will also work on, uh, you know, regular AC power as well. And, uh, you know, that would be great for me. But if I was, say, in my vehicle camping, maybe bugged out somewhere, finding this with a bucket, being able to wash my clothing, that's a pretty big benefit. Uh, staying clean is going to be a lot more important after a disaster because that's when all the infections and the simple paper cuts can get into your blood. You know, infection can get into your blood and cause a lot of problems for you. So keeping clean after a disaster is definitely a good idea. Is this the solution you may want? Maybe not. But, you know... Find yourself a solution for keeping your clothing clean. All right, I'm going to let this finish up and get into its uh, ultrasonic modes and all that other stuff. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, all done. What I noticed is when the ultrasonic cleans, this buzzes. It's almost like it's telling you it's done. It's going to cool like a, like a laundry buzzer. Let's take it out of here. And I can tell you already that that is a whole lot cleaner than it was when I put it in there. Now, is it perfectly white? You know, maybe if I added some bleach in there, it might have worked. But I got to say, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, it doesn't smell like oil anymore or grease or anything. So, yeah, does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, you could probably wash dishes in this. You could do a whole lot of stuff with this uh, in a smaller situation. Again, this is for a, you know, a portable kind of maybe a bug out situation or car camping or anything like that. Definitely a neat little tool. So I'm impressed with the thing. I mean, would I choose it as my first choice? No, I'd probably get a full-size washer. Um, mine is a little plastic tub almost. It looks like two five-gallon buckets put together. And it's just a big, I think it holds 14 gallons of water. And you can put up to nine pounds of clothing in it. So, you know, that will run on either DC or AC. But for something like this that runs off a USB plug, you can't beat that. It actually cleans. I'm pretty impressed with it. We all saw this when I put it in. It was all full of black stains and oil and, you know, crud from the engine and everything. So, definitely does its job. So, where can you get one? Well, I have a link down below. They are all over Amazon. This is the closest to the one that I found there. So, you can see what it looks like there. When you're done with this, this just pops right off. You just drain it out. Because it does hold some water in there. Okay. Drain it out, and you're good to move on to wherever you're moving on to. So, is it a cool little item? Yeah, it actually works. Does a good job. I'm impressed with it. You can even see in the rinse water, it's still got a lot of stuff out of this. So, cool little deal. They run about $29.99, about $30. Bucks. That's the cheapest. I've seen some of them for like $60. Bucks. Obviously, you don't pay that much. <laughs> you know, if you do want to try one out, that's way expensive. So, you can see with a bucket like this, you know, a little collapsible sink, and something like this, you can actually get some stuff done here. You can actually get a little bit of laundry done. Um, again, I would use a five-gallon bucket if I was going to do it. I just thought it would be too high for the video. I wanted you to actually see in there when it was working, so I used this one instead. But you see, even with this, it worked pretty well. So I will put a link down below to the one I found online. This is a two-in-one mini USB ultrasonic turbine washer and dryer. It does spin, you know, both ways. Gives it a good. I was kind of worried about the, this kept coming into it, you know, and get sucked into it. And I was worried that it was going to damage it because it doesn't seem powerful enough. But this thing did just fine. It just spun around there, kicked it right out, spun the other way, kicked it right away. So no problem at all. So I will put a link down below. Check out the link there. 
Uh, if you're interested in checking one out, uh, we also have our affiliate store down there. I will put this in the affiliate store as well. Uh, our freeze dry wholesalers site. Definitely check them out. We have some cool videos coming for you. Uh, come next week, we have a, uh, another Midrat special pre-order. I think you're going to want to see this one. I've actually um, had a couple pieces of this particular item, and I think you're going to want to check it out. I was really shocked um, that you could dehydrate this stuff. So you're definitely going to want to check it out come Monday. That's going to be our big reveal day for what that item is. And there'll be a sale on it. You'll be able to pick it up. And it's going to be a pre-sale. So you'll order it, and a couple weeks later you'll get it. Um, so he does a run of how much he needs. And the link alone down there, that link alone will save you 15%. So even if you're not interested in that, you can use that link and stock up on some food because definitely now is a good time to get yourself stocked up on some long-term storage food. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. That is preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. We have two specials going this month. $50 off a, a four-week special and $150 off a three-month special of food on that site. And that is a really cool, easy, set-and-forget type setup. And we also have our Thrive Life Store down below. So check out all our affiliate links down there. We also have a website now, iridium242.com. You might want to check it out, see if there's anything there. We have our merch site if you're interested in picking up some t-shirts or mugs or whatever. I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.